in the 10th grade, first day of football, and I'm sitting there playing catch with somebody. And the coach comes over to me and says, what are you doing, son? Said, playing catch. And he says, hey, you know those laces right there? Okay, yeah, that's what those are called, laces. Yeah, you're supposed to use those. I grew up in a house that I don't ever remember seeing a Bible opened or read or talked about or anything. I never had a conversation about Jesus. Never remember praying, not even over a meal. Mom and dad were always there for everything. They were very disciplinarian, um, but as far as a faith, never a faith. I still remember the conversation with my best friend. We've been best friends since the third grade. We're getting ready to head to college. We've heard all these stories about guys just going there and just getting caught up in drugs and alcohol and stuff. That's not gonna be us, we're making a pact. Well, I figured out early on that I could do school sports and be an alcoholic. Three, four nights a week, drinking to oblivion. I mean, I was living it up. I was the man. I was starting on the football team. I was playing really well. We were doing well. I was getting through school. In my little world, the world was mine. At the beginning of my second year, I met this girl that was you know, incredible, she was smart, she was funny, and uh, we had been dating about a year. And October of 1993, the beginning of my third year in school, um, I'm playing the game with her and tell her, you know, hey, we, need to, we need to take some space, I'm a little overwhelmed right now. She didn't like that, but she left. And, uh, you know, not an hour later, there was another girl at my apartment. And, and uh, I'm laying in bed with this girl. And next thing I know, my bedroom door opens up and I see a silhouette. And it's my girlfriend. All these things, just the out, being an alcoholic, cheating my way through school, you know, having sex with all kinds of different girls. You know, all these things were just, had just come to a head. I remember saying to my girlfriend at the time, we're having this long discussion of what this meant and all this stuff. I said, uh, you know, I don't know what this means for you and I, but I need to go back to church. Which is a weird, interesting statement to say. Don't know a Bible. Don't know what, even what that means. I had this guy who was playing for the Jets at the time. He went to the same college stayed with us to train. He's who I called. These words started coming out of his mouth that were weird to me. Jesus, crucifixion, salvation, grace, love. I'd never heard any of that. He said, Jesus wants you exactly like you are. You, you accept him, he makes the changes. Just kind of modeled a prayer for me. I'm in my apartment all by myself. Lord, I don't know a lot about who you are, God. I know that I've been trying to do it on my own, and I can't. I need you to come into my life. I accept that you died for me, but I need you to be the captain of my ship. And uh, I remember getting off that floor and feeling like for the first time, I didn't have this weight on my shoulders anymore. For the first time, I felt like I didn't have to carry this burden of being the life of the party, being the man. I could just be John. Who I thought I wanted to be, I became. But what I found out was that is a losing proposition. Cussing, womanizing, cheating, stealing, drinking, things I had tried to stop all before. God took care of it in a matter of weeks. My girlfriend sits and watches it. She watched it November, December. She comes to the first Bible study. She believes in Jesus Christ that night. We got married six months later, and it'll be 19 years this August. And what I discovered in the NFL is God is so much bigger than what I thought he was. I got saved, she got saved. My parents get saved, my brother gets saved. He marries a girl who's saved. Her brothers get saved, her mom gets saved, her dad just got baptized six months ago. Only through the working of Christ.
only through his grace. 